Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and this is going to be another um, classic movie review for you, reviewing yet another Quentin Tarantino movie, believe it or not. Um, you know, guys, I wanted to see this movie because I was really into um, Kill Bill. I wanted to see more Quentin Tarantino movies, and I decided to see this one because this is actually the first Quentin Tarantino movie I've seen that he actually acts in, which I'll get to, but um, this is going to be a review for the 1996 cult classic um, sort of horror movie, action horror movie, From Dust Till Dawn. Now, From Dust Till Dawn, I had heard, you know, I have heard this is a very classic movie that everyone loves. Um, it's one of Robert Regis's movies, which I know he does horror very, very well. I've heard, that is, I haven't seen any of his, like, really cheesy ones, like Machete and things like that, but I heard this is basically the beginning of those type of movies, so I was looking forward to seeing what he was gonna do with something like this. And, um... You know, I like the cast as well. I thought the cast was strong. Overall, what did I think of From Dust Told On? I really enjoy this movie, but I didn't love this movie. I didn't love it like I thought I would. I, I thought I would love it. I didn't love the movie, but I really enjoyed it overall. And I do recommend it to you guys. Um, let's explain what this movie's about. This movie really, it's a pretty basic plot in the beginning, that is. The, the beginning of this movie is a very basic plot. You have these two brothers, Sam and Richie. And they are, you know, wanted by the FBI, and, you know, they are, they are on the run because they are, do, they have, like, a bank heist and things like that. And they basically just want to cause a bank robbery, basically. And, um, you know, basically, they get into this fight, and the FBI is going to have, and, you know, the FBI is going to have the FBI, Texas Police, and the Sheriff Department join forces to bring down these brothers. They're called the Gecko Brothers, and they're, you know, everybody hates them. And, you know, they want, they're just trying, they're trying to head towards Mexico. Um, you know, they're trying, they're trying to, um, head towards Mexico to get away from everyone, to not be arrested, because that's what they want to do in the movie. Second half of the movie is completely different, but that's basically what From Dust Till Dawn is about at first. And, um, I really like the first half of this movie. The second half of this movie, though, it got way too complicated, and I'll get to that. But let's first talk about the best part of the movie, the acting. The acting is what really makes this movie really, really good. I thought the acting was by far the best part of this movie. I really enjoyed it, um, overall. Now, um, George, George Clooney is our main star here. He's amazing in this movie. He is just, wow, the lines of dialogue he gives, um, his acting in the movie, very different role for George Clooney. George Clooney usually plays those very, like, um, by-the-book type of perfect kind of guys. He doesn't play those kind of, he doesn't play these kind of roles, really. And, um, you know, he did a really good job with that. I didn't expect him to do a very, as good a job as he did, and he did a really, really good job with this movie. I thought he was very well casted, a lot of really great lines from his character. I really enjoyed his character in this movie, and overall, I thought he did a really, really good job, um, you know, delivering lines and things like that. You really feared him as well, because a lot of the scenes, he has, like, his gun up, and he's talking, he's, like, a major badass, total badass in this movie. Great, great, great job. And then Quentin Tarantino as Richie, I thought he was great too. I thought he actually um, was kind of funny. I thought he had some funny lines in the movie. Um, I thought you definitely, you definitely saw the Quentin Tarantino part of this movie. Like, even though he directed the movie, he even though he starred, he was one of the stars in the movie. He still directed the movie. He wrote the movie, of course. Um, and he, you definitely saw the Quentin Tarantino ness of this movie. You know, the movie doesn't like jump around though, like Kill Bill did, which I wish it kind of did. Cause that'd be kind of cool. But I thought he did a pretty good job. Um, Harvey Keitel, um, was good. Everyone else was really just good in the movie. Um, you know, I, everyone else is pretty much just good, and I thought that they were good, but, you know, everyone else is pretty much just good. But the two main stars, you know, George Clooney and Quentin Tarantino, both very good. Alright, let's get to the big part of this movie. Of course, the big twist of this movie, which I'm sure you guys know the big twist in this movie, but if you have not seen it or not still done, don't watch the Shush Review. Alright. So the second half of this movie, you know, they go to Mexico, they go to this, um, cartel called, you know, um, it's called, a uh, t Top Titty, Top Titty, Top Titty or something like that, what was it called? It was called Titty Twister, and, you know, they get to that bar, and, you know, the, Salma Hayek's sexually dancing, and by the way, very hot in this movie, um, I, I like that, but it turns out, of course, when we get there, that it, they're actually all vampires, 
And, you know, from here, when we find out that they're vampires, that is when the movie turns into this huge, big vampire horror movie with constant killing. Like, the second half of this movie is literally constant killing. I am not kidding you guys. It's constant killing. Yes, there's dialogue in between, but there's constant killing, and that kind of... I like that about the movie, but at the same time, it felt like two different movies, and I had a problem with that, because I was really enjoying the first half of this movie. I'm like, okay, I'm really enjoying where this is going. It's actually really fun. Um, I like the characters. I like that they're just bad guys, but we follow them. Um, but then when we had the whole vampire thing introduced, I thought it was good. Like, the setup was good, but the execution of it, I just was not a big fan of. I was not a fan of it as much. I didn't like it as much. After they went to that, it was still a great, it was still a good movie, but after that happened, I just, I was not as into it, and I understand why, um, you know, some people say, like, I understand why a lot of people love this movie, but in my opinion, I thought it was, I thought The Vampires was good, but you didn't have to have that in this movie, you could have just had it be a simple bank heist movie, yes, the vampire adds to it, and I understand what they were trying to do, they're trying to say this is not your ordinary bank heist movie, but the thing is, we had such great plot and great casting that I wish it would have just been a simple bank heist movie because literally in the second half Quentin Tarantino is nowhere to be found nowhere to be found he like doesn't do much in the movie after that and I had a problem with that because I want to see more of the dynamic between the two of them that we saw in the first movie the first half of the movie and we didn't really see that in the second half of the movie but that was a problem for me however I will say all the scenes of um, the fighting and everything, very awesomely done, very well choreographed, I thought they did a really good job of that, I didn't have a, you know, I liked the way they did the scenes, but I just had a problem with, like, the, the way they did the movie, I just thought it was stupid, honestly, that they went all of a sudden, that they were all of a sudden vampires, it was weird, I understand why they did it, I just thought it was weird, and then the ending, of course, what's the ending, it doesn't make any sense at all, uh, the bar is on top of an Aztec temple, Partially stuck into a valley wall, most likely a source and true home of the vampire monsters. Um, it's just, that was weird. I didn't like that at all. I thought the ending was really stupid. Um, and that was my only problem with the movie. I just thought the ending was stupid. Um, so yeah. Now, the effects in the movie, definitely very good. Definitely the effects, as I said, are very well done. Very graphic movie as well, especially towards the second half. Um, just really, really good. The first scene of this movie, oh my god, it's awesome. The first scene is... Really, really well done. It's literally the two of them, they go into this convenience store, and they talk to this guy, and they just start killing this guy. It's really awesome to watch, and I would have wanted to see more of that. I would have wanted to just be these two heading to Mexico, and that's the movie. I wish that would have just been the movie. I wish it didn't have to have the whole vampire thing. I understand why they had it in there, but the movie just did not feel like it needed that. I mean, the cover, the, the poster of this movie doesn't even entail that. And now the thing is, that's what this movie's most recognized for, is the vampires. And it really just doesn't seem like it should be a vampire movie to me. I enjoy the movie. I'm not saying the movie's bad or anything. I'm just saying it got weird after the vampires were introduced. It was weird, and it just it didn't work for me exactly. It really did not work. Um, I had a problem with that. The directing, as I said, though, was very good. The writing, wow, the writing was really good. I really liked a lot of George Clooney's lines in the movie. A lot of... Uh, that was good. The writing was really good in the movie. I thought they did a good job with that. Probably my least favorite Quentin Tarantino movie so far. I'll say that. Um, it's not bad. It just was not as good as I wanted it to be. George Clooney, as I said, still very good acting. It has nothing to do with the acting. It has nothing to do with the people in the movie. It has to do with the execution of the twist in the movie. I just thought the execution was very weird. And it just kind of came out of nowhere for me. And I had a problem with that. So, yeah. I, as I said, I did have a little bit of a problem with the execution of the movie. That's, that's basically my problem with it. But that's basically it for my review of, um, From Dust Till Dawn. Um, let me know what you guys saw this movie. Overall, as I said, not a bad movie. It's just kind of the, the, the thing at the end set me off. It really did. I was not as into it after it, it kind of lost me. Um, it kind of lost me in the middle part of the movie. However, when they had the constant fighting, I was enjoying it. But I just thought it felt like two different movies to me. Um, but that's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll do. And my next video will be another classic movie review. So I'll see you guys for that. Okay, bye.